Hi guys, this is Orchid. Today I'm doing a bubble chandelier using uh, Christmas balls. Here are the balls I'm using. I purchased this galvanized wire at Home Depot. It was a hundred feet in the pack for $2.98. Let me show you the balls that I'm using. Oh, but first, here is the lampshade frame. I'm going to be hanging them from this. This is a mercury glass uh, Christmas ball, very beautiful in the rail. I picked these up at AC Moore last Christmas. They were stunning on my tree, guys. And I think this is kind of what inspired um, the, the project. Now these are these balls that you can open and you can put stuff inside of them. I used these also on my tree last year. And this is just a regular silver uh, Christmas ball. I'm trying not to use anything too shiny because I don't want it to look too Christmassy. And finally, these are extra crystals I have from two chandeliers in my home. They generally give you extra fix, fi fixtures and I have 12 of them. You definitely will need a drill for this project. And for the balls that are not transparent, I am using an upholstery needle to string the wire through. So here goes. Now these balls, last time when I used them, I put crystals inside to kind of give it that extra bling. And I will be doing that with this chandelier. They have that little flap that you put the hanging implement through at the top there. I'm going to remove that. So to drill the hole, I simply put one on top of the other for the clear ones. And then for the, uh, the Christmas ones, I, there is a dot at the bottom exactly where the center is. And I just drill right through there. Here is one of the uh, Christmas, um, crystal balls from the chandelier. This one already has a little wire thing to hang it from. So I simply just put the length of galvanized wire onto that. For the others that did not have the um, wire, I made that wire thingy there. And then I added the length of wire onto it, making sure that I cut away the excess. And I did this because I wanted to ensure that the crystal ball is hanging properly. I didn't want it to be askew at all. So now to hang in the Christmas balls, add in my crystals in the, the those transparent ones. Now I'm stringing the wire through this is fairly easy and I'm putting three of those above the chandelier crystals and then I'm going to add the silver Christmas ball and finally the mercury ball at the top this is where I use the upholstery needle to string the wire through since it, it isn't transparent. And to give some allowance at the ceiling, I added two crystal buttons at the top of the mercury um, glass Christmas um, ball. And these are actually from my tufted mirror project. We know these, these are from Dollar Tree. I actually added these, I drill holes through them and then I tie them onto the galvanized wire and then weighted them down with six of the um, crystals from my chandelier, the extra crystals I mentioned earlier. You have to be confident in order to do this with a drill, guys. If you're not, then I don't recommend doing this. Here I am, adding them to the chandelier crystal. I put five on each along with the crystal. 
I spray the lampshade frame a metallic silver. It was Rust-Oleum. And now I'm going to add the balls that I string onto the galvanized wire to the lampshade frame. And I did six of these. So I'm spacing them equidistant around the frame. Now you have to ensure that you are hanging them at the same length so when you install the chandelier that they are hanging evenly. Because I decided to hang the other ones that I did in the center of the lampshade frame, I had to get an extra pair of hands to help me because I needed them to hold it up so I'm making sure I'm hanging them at the length that I wanted them at just to let you know this guys having an extra pair of ha hands will be a great help this is the um, fixer I'll be hanging the chandelier from I removed the cover and I'm going to replace this length of fixture hair with a shorter one. This is where the lampshade frame is going to be secured onto. So this is the shorter version. I'm going to screw that in. Then I'm going to insert that into that little round area on the lampshade and screw the knot on. There you see it. The inside of the fixture was just very plain so I just glued some of the crystals on it and I also put some rhinestone around the um, lampshade frame just to kind of pretty it up. And here she is guys so the only item I, I purchased for this project was the galvanized wire everything else is stuff that I had before let me know what you think guys I love getting your feedback I learned so much from you this is a view from another angle Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye now.